So what we've done is we've created a simple command line application uh, that can be called from the perceptive content uh, iScript. And what it does is it starts, we will just maintain a, we have a PDF here, an image of a W-2, which can be obtained from the uh, IRS, of course. Uh, we utilize PDF TK to drive the application, uh, which is a free library. Uh, so there's no licensing there. And of course, you might notice I'm doing this on a Mac, but this does run the same on Windows, um, including Windows Server. And then, so when we're calling it from perceptive content, we'll pass it the variables. So for every row in a CSV file, uh, it will create an image and store that image within perceptive content and index it appropriately. Um, in our case here, for the purpose of this demo, I just have some hard, co uh, hard coded variables here. So if I run this command line, you'll note that it just created this test W2 output and that has the data on here. So if I wanted to change this to anything, you know, control number 6789, ABC, save that, um, rerun this, uh, let's go ahead and call it output two uh, and run that. We'll now have a new PDF and you will note that we now have an updated control number. So again, this can be run from uh, perceptive content iScript and then we will be able to store these images within perceptive content and securely retrieve them uh, from clicking a link within Lawson.